What is up ladies and gentlemen, today we will be looking at the worst possible M4 setup I could think of. This is the first episode in a series in which we will be looking at worst possible setups that you guys can come up with. So you know, if you're thinking M249 with a duplex scope, I love it. If you're taking ASVAL with max recoil, I love it. Leave your worst setups down in the comments and I will choose one and make a video about it next time. All right, so what is the worst M4 one I could think of? Well, first let's start with the equipment. I want a heartbeat sensor. It's probably the most useless out of everything. Maybe flashbang or smokes can be a fun alternative. For melee, I went with the default knife. Secondary, this is where this gets interesting. Um, the gyro jet with no attachments except for XP boost, which, you know, just to level up while I use it, but it's, it doesn't add any power. And then the oil can sensor, which is so big that um, it blocks the iron sight. So this is the meme gun that you sometimes get in randomizer. And then finally the M4 one. Starting from the bottom, I got the invader stock, which increases ADS speed, but decreases recoil control. My goal with this M4 is to have most recoil possible. Stipple tape, increased handling speed, decreased recoil control. The Soka mag, uh, increased damage. But decrease mag capacity, decrease fire rate, and increase recoil. The short barrel, same as the invader stock, increase ADS and decrease recoil. And finally, the tactical silencer. Heavy sound suppression, very important, and decrease damage ring. Alright, so let's see how this bad boy plays out. That recoil is insane. Oh my god, aiming is so hard. Let's see if I'm able to pop off eventually, if I do end up getting used to this weapon. Now, despite having insane recoil, this weapon does actually have two advantages. The first one is that the up-close damage, especially, is quite high, thanks to this open mag. And the second one is that thanks to the invader stock, as well as the short barrel, the ADS scope comes up so fast and is actually a lot of fun to use. You might have noticed right there that I'm using the insta heal as well as the deagle. I hadn't completed the full meme setup at the point of this video. Soon enough I'll change into it though. You know it was actually quite fun to try out a new weapon. This weapon has certain advantages like I've discussed but it also forces me to switch up my playstyle which you know breaks from the usual and makes the game more enjoyable for a short time. You see me bring out that sweet, sweet heartbeat right there to detect enemies. Not gonna lie, it was kind of useful. Man, there are a lot of people in tunnels. And the heartbeat confirms a big red blot right there. Now the M4 is kind of popping off close range, not gonna lie. 21 and 7, not too bad. And here we are hopping into Legacy Brazil. I do look forward to seeing what you guys will come up with next. This M4 is not that bad. I think you guys will be able to come up with truly awful weapons though. Also while we're at it, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I come up with uh, bad business content every single sometimes. Oh my god, the strafes are off and oh, the tactical gyro jet makes its appearance. You know, this thing is a lot of fun to use. It's like a different channel because you can't even see your screen half the time, but you have to just think where the opponent was. While we are on the subject of Legacy Bissell, as you see me getting used to the M4, I'm kind of, you know, juking and jumping, super jumping, bring up the gyro jet, kind of popping off. Legacy Bissell is a map that comes up way too often. I don't think I need to tell you. I think everyone has been saying it. Um, I've seen it on the Bad Business Discord. I've seen it in my stream chat. Um, I've heard my friends talk about it. But the good news is that Ethan said that they will lower the possibility of legacy maps appearing from half to a third. Now, I don't know exactly like how the maths work behind that. Half to a third of what, like for, is it in the way the each individual uh, map is weighted or is it like legacy maps are in a separate pool from the regular pool and that entire pool has half a chance of appearing right now but we only have a third of a chance 
So I don't know how that works, but the, the bottom line is that Legacy Brazil and other Legacy maps should appear less than they are right now. I think that's a welcome change because I kind of missed the newer maps. I, I think I've played Factory like once or twice in the past few days. I think I've played Waterways once or zero. Tides maybe three times. So yeah, a welcome change. Now I think it's fair to say at this point in the video that this experiment is somewhat of a failure. Uh, this M4 is way too powerful. Like it has incredible downsides, right? But it's still it's still like a super powerful weapon. And part of the reason is that the M4 by itself is a strong weapon. I think this video also illustrates an interesting point, and that is that movement and aim are much more important than like the strength of your weapon, right? Sometimes we get caught up in wanting to blame certain weapons for like the success of our opponents when we should be just celebrating the, well maybe not celebrating, but recognizing the aim and the skill of our opponents. Not to say that some weapons don't need balancing, right? Going back to the game, you can see our entire team is pushing up uh, in the enemy team spawn. Uh, this game is kind of uh, one-sided. I think half the opponent team left at this point. As you see me trying to hit a gyrojet shot by flicking because I can't see anything with this incredibly huge suppressor. You know, I think the real worst weapon in this video is the gyrojet. Oh. With the sniper flashlight shining through the suppressor, it's not... Well, it's still bad because I don't even have a crosshair. So I do manage to get the kill eventually. Alright, victory 55 and 6, 9.17 KDR. Not too bad for an awful weapon. And that's it for me. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to check out my other videos. Subscribe, check out my stream, you know the deal. And I'll see you next time. Peace.